Hey guys, how you doing? Thanks for joining me again. We're going to Hilton Head Invitational Harbour Town Golf Links, Hilton Head Island, South Carolina. I imagine this is going to be tough, but actually I'm pretty confident we're going to do well this time. In fact, we might even win the bloody thing. 10 under, Adrian Harper. Look at that. Wow, that's a glorious looking hole. Ah, oh, this could be fun. Right, I'm ready this time. I'm not going to try too hard, but I am going to do well, if that makes sense. Fingers crossed, hey. Harbour Town, bring it on. EA Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to showcase the finest young golfers from around the globe. A gorgeous day in South Carolina here at Harbor Town Golf Links. It's live first round coverage of the Hilton Head Invitational. Seven under what for top we three. Have in store for us over the course of these next four days. Wow. We've got big names. We've got dark horses. We've got it all as we look at the leaderboard on this Thursday. A number of folks in contention, including our leader. Oh, okay, so I want to come right. We're going to hit this low because of the uh, impending problems. So I may even drop a club. I think I'm going to drop a club here. Right, here we go. Practice the first swing always. Oh my god, thank god I did. Can't seem to play a straight shot right now. That'll do. Oh, finally through the eye of a needle, that was. What a shot. A good one to get this tournament started. Got to be happy with that. Of course, let's check in with Nota Begay the third. 157 yards left, pin in the back. All right, going to play this high. Like the swing this. Oh. Oh, I screwed it up there. Stuck Should be good. Right there. This could be really good. Look at that. Well, I don't have my tape measure out, but that looks like, I don't know, what, six, seven feet in there, but that is an excellent approach shot. Which way is that breaking? Looks like left to right to me. Very difficult to tell. Yeah, that's a good putt. It's a birdie here at one. And that is hopefully a harbinger for the week ahead as he is very quickly to one under par. Here's a chance to make a birdie early in the round. Second hole at Harbor Town is a relatively short par five at a little more than 500 yards. Again, the key, and this is the case all over the golf course. You have to put your tee shot in the right spot. And here it is on that left side of the fairway. Perfect. And this round starting off strong after the birdie at the first. This in the fairway at number two. All right, so if I give this a bit of height, it's going to be a real challenge to get that in there. I'm going to try with the seven to see how we get on. It's gone too far left. Probably a good thing. Has to be thrilled with that second shot here to the par five. Frank got everything out of that. Yeah, did well just to advance the ball so far down the fairway. And now a fairly straightforward third shot.
that could have been a hell of a lot better. 15 feet away. Oh, it's uphill. So it's going to kick really hard to the left, I think. Uh, more than I thought. Uh, a little tentative there, and that'll come up short. Could have been better. That should have been a birdie. You the second, and he'll remain in red figures at one under. This third hole at 469 yards is pure harbor town. It's narrow. The emphasis here is on hit your tee shot in play, and a par is a good score. I promise you. Oh, that's gone very left. We lost this one to the left. Could have been so much worse. Quite obviously off the tree and into the rough. Working from the rough, here's his second at three. Got it. Oh man, that went way past. I think I'd be fairly pleased with that, Frank. What do you think? I certainly do. It was so, so good. So that, so we'll take the par. par here at the third. And he'll remain at one under par. Just trying to get the controller positioned correctly in my this hand. This is vintage Pete Dye, isn't it? Risk and reward, 200 yard, par three fourth. Obviously, you need to carry that water hazard running the entire length of this hole. You're going to miss. You miss right. Uh, you don't want to miss it short or long, that's for sure. Uh, that's where the Gators are waiting for some golf balls. Seven iron. Drop it right on. It's going left. Damn it, that's in the water. It's that of a bitch. I cannot get my thumb straight. I don't know what the hell is going on. Into the hazard protecting the front of this part three. Okay, so the drop made, and this will become his third at the part three. We're going to hit the trees here, aren't we? Oh my god. Well, that ball came into contact with everything that you do not like. Right on a golf course, the leaves, the branches, the trees, and then ultimately into the hazard. All right, so drop that's a, that's a worse position. A fifth shot on the way. Good job there's a limit to how many I can miss. Straight off the, the trunk of the tree. Into the water. Third time that's happened on God so damn it. And that is where you say, I'm not losing a fourth. Let's just move on. The fifth hole at Harbor Town is the second of the three par fives at 549 yards. We need some straight shots. Players with the chance to try and reach this green in two. But one larger and one smaller bunker protect the left side of this deep but narrow green. We just got away with that. Ah. 
So that sets up a tougher second shot, missing the fairway with the drive, now in the rough. That will do, ladies and gentlemen, that will do. Okay, that's how you bounce back right there off the double at the previous hole. Frank, a chance to get it all back right here. Yeah, that was a great composure. Could easily be sort of like licking your chops, feeling down, but all of a sudden just to stand up and hit a shot like that, that impressive. Damn it. Yeah, he wanted that to go a little more, but that's not too bad from there. Shouldn't be much in this for birdie. Nicely played. It's a birdie. Could have, the fifth. could have pinched an eagle there and got myself back onto even ground. Onward now to the 419 yard par 46. Dog leg right. Best to aim the tee shot to the left of the fairway bunker on the right. Land there and the green is very accessible and a birdie might be in the offing. Can do it any better than that. No issues here. That is into the fairway. Second right. shot coming up, and we say hello to Iona Stephen. Well, 122 left to the flag, and that pin, well, it's back left today. Here we go then. Have no more of these horrible wonky shots, please. That looks good. Good chance at one. Oh, just the strike. The Much better. It. And the ball does the rest. Great shot. A four footer here for Birdie. Ah, uh, yeah, well done. It's back to back birdies here on this front side. Making this Once very difficult for myself. The need for precision here at Harbor Town. That'll be put to the test here at the 195 yard par 37. Yes, there's water. Yes, there's sand. But the biggest issue the two giant trees serving as gatekeepers to this narrow green. Going left, more than I thought. Hmm. Okay, that one's dancing. Pretty big left to righter here for Birdie. Oh. Well, that's good touch right there. Could have done with that going in. That one finished off. It'll be a par here at seven. And he'll stay at even par. On to the number one handicap hole here at Harbor Town. And fittingly, the one considered the most difficult. The par four eighth at 473 yards. Overzealous golfers could run out of fairway when using the driver. But the approach to a narrow green with a long bunker left and water makes the second shot one of the most harrowing on the course. Yeah, yeah I could have gone up to a driver there, I think. There, but a good, safe shot. <sighs> Is it going to go under the tree or is it just going to hit the tree? I have no idea, do I? Oh, I hit the tree. That was so online as well. Well, had a 
good lie in the fairway, but couldn't do anything with it. That comes up woefully short. Terrible shot. Really bad. Chip shots, you've got to be so Total waste you've got of an opportunity there. Well, just needed a few more feet out of that one. Go on. Ah. Okay, not a bad effort. That one finished off. It's a bogey here at number eight. And he's going to fall back now to one over par. We wrap up the front nine here at Harbor Town with the 332 yard par four ninth. What this hole lacks in distance, it makes up for by forcing golfers to be strategic off the tee. A large bunker prevents tee shots from running on, so best to lay up short and take a wedge into this boomerang shaped green. Gonna work this up that left hand side. God damn it. That's a straight shot. Time. That one's in the rough. Might be a tough shot coming up. So from the rough, his second at nine. Man, we're going to have to keep it low. Ah, still didn't work out. Third shot coming up now from the bunker. Oh, I hit the pin. Oh, I hit it. Why couldn't you just go in for me? Okay, that's in for his par here at the nine. And that will make this a front nine of 37, one over par. The back nine starts here at the 451 yard, par 410th. This hole offers one of the few real wide landing zones to take aim at. However, Beware of the lagoon left. If you can find the short grass, birdie is very much in play. Looks nice. Yeah, that's a nice swing, and the result is going to be a tee shot that is set up just fine. Now, note to his second from the fairway. Left himself with 147 to the hole, standing on the wrong side of par right now, looking to get back to even. Oh God, I've lost my thumb hold. I'll get a straight shot again. What's going on? It's not too bad. Good shot. Inside 20 feet, I would imagine. So a good chance, really the outside chance for Betty. Appeal a little bit. Not enough. Ah, how annoying. Pretty good effort, but it'll wander a couple of feet by. 
So that in for par to start this backside. And he'll stay at one over. This 11th hole at 436 yards is another test requiring precision over power. This fairway narrows the nearer it gets to this green, which is surrounded by four unique bunkers. Oh, shit. Now, got to manage the pine straw here with his second. That's a decent recovery shot right there. That's a good shot. And more importantly, too, a green in regulation. So birdie chance. This one measures out to 15 feet. about ready to walk that in that looked on target the whole way all but perfect that was so that brushed in for par here at 11 and he'll remain right where he is the 12th hole at 430 yards is one of the rare dogleg rights on this course. If you can steer your ball into the fairway off the tee, you'll be left with a very manageable approach to a green flanked by bunkers both left and right. It should be okay. Beautiful tempo to that swing, and this is going to wind up squarely in the fairway. From the fairway, Noda, this is second. He's got 109 yards to the front, 142 to the hole. Pin is in the far back portion of the screen. Thing is, you can never tell whether the wind is going to take it or not. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. No, hasn't really touched it at all, has it? Ah, good shot. Safely on the green and a birdie chance. Come oh, on, baby. Yes! Oh, yes! Plenty of pace to get up that slope. Massively Three needed that. Birdie. So many visually arresting holes here at Harbortown. This might be the best of the bunch. The 373-yard par 4 13th. Architect Pete Dye created some of the best work that golf has ever seen. But credit the design on this hole, as well as the 17th at TPC Sawgrass, to his wife, Alice, who drew up this design, how's this, on a napkin. They call that position A. That's going to be right down the middle. See how straight my thumb shots are now. Just under 80 yards to go now as he'll decide how to flight his second. That's definitely going to take it, right? Didn't touch it at all. Could have done better. Birdie chance here. Very long putt, though. Got to be a little careful if it gets away on him. 
down the hill. Okay, we'll take your foot off that. Go on, go on. Yes, what a shot. A birdie here at one. We're carrying on like this, we can get ourselves back into this game. The 14th now at Harbor Town, a par three at 190 yards. Don't let the fact Oof. that this is the number 18 handicap hole fool you. The danger is self evident on this hole as water runs all along the right side of the green. I don't know how much the wind is going to take it, so I'm just going to play safe here. Oh god, it's really gone right. Oh, that That's killed me. That may be gone. Unbelievable. We started off playing a game of golf, but now we're just flat out deep sea fishing here. This is bizarre. Okay, so now after the drop and the penalty stroke, this will become his third shot now at the par three. I was trusting the fact that I was playing straight shots and then all of a sudden I'm not playing straight shots again. That's a really good one. But I don't think it's going in. Oh, don't go in the water, jeepers. target okay that'll mitigate things a little it is still a double bogey though here at the par three and he'll drop back to one over par now to the lone par five on this backside the longest hole on the course need an eagle or an albatross here 15. this one is a toughie Featuring a narrow landing area off the tee with bunkers on both sides, as well as a somewhat blind second shot requiring a pretty good right to left angle of attack. It's so hard to bounce back after a huge score, especially when you're still reeling from it. But try and pull the screws back, back in the head there. Just take a little breath, maybe two. Decent swing. Don't try and kill it. Exactly like that. Really good shot. Wish me luck. Wow, there was some flipping slice on that by accident. I don't know how that got two put on there. Shots gets close to this par five green in two. I know the ball's in the rough, but it's not too bad. With a good short game, perhaps birdie. Putter has not been at its best, but this a good look for Birdie. Oh, ah, yes, just in doubt. It's a Birdie here at 15. We start to make our way toward the blue waters of Calabogie Sound as we come to the 434 yard par 4 16th. A well placed tee shot will leave you with a fairly short iron into a small egg-shaped green I went so left ah that hit that tree hard and bounced straight into the rough 
Ball appears to be sitting up here in the rough at the 16th hole. Decent lie, but she just won't be able to get it to spin. See what he can do now with this, his second shot. It's gone so far to the right as well. What is going on? This move with a lot to do. Now a seven footer. Ah, oh. mm, that's going to leak out to the right. And that's horrible. Away. Not the right read there. Okay, no further damage. It's a bogey five, and that won't help the cause one. Bit. You come to the 17th hole and you finally realize that's right, I'm on an island. It's a par three measuring out at 174 yards. A spectacular view looking out over the water toward Defusky Island. The biggest issue here, that bunker that juts across the front and left portions of the green. I don't trust my shot at the moment. Yeah, so that's gone right. Could have gone left. And that one not on the green, but not in a terrible spot either. Sitting up in the short grass. That's not exactly ideal. Far from a tapping for his par. You're being too kind. Uh, that's not at all ideal. Oh God! Not that time. That's going to slip on by. What is going on with my thumb? That one finished off for bogey here at 17, and that's going to move him back to two over par. The 18th hole, one of the real signature holes on the PGA Tour. It's a par four at 472 yards. Sort of a visually awkward landing area. You want to make sure you don't hit it through the fairway and into the hazard. But a good drive. What? A gorgeous finish, taking dead aim at that beacon of a lighthouse. Yeah, what a stroke of luck. Good balance, good follow through, and a good start to this hole. Ready for a second shot, trying to knock it on the green. Cannot find the angle. Look at this, it's all over the place. Going right. Cannot hit a straight shot. It's insane. I'm wondering if my thumbstick or my controller has got loose. That's what it feels like. Save par here at 18, and that will be an opening round score of 73. That's so really disappointing. For well back after round one, and now likely in a fight just to play the weekend. I think they're in a different zip code. I don't know what's going on with my thumb. It's like the shots I'm playing are good shots, the length and the line are good, but we're veering off, we're getting hooks and slices all of the time. It's so so irritating. But what can I do but keep trying? 
you in the next one. Take care. Goodbye for now.